This video will teach you how to reflect shapes using tracing paper. So let's have a look. Here are some shapes and when you do a reflection you need to know what your mirror line is. On this particular worksheet you can see the mirror line is indicated by a dotted line. So some people are really good at seeing reflections and other people it's a bit trickier. So I'm going to show you a way that always works um, and it uses tracing paper. And this is how you do it. You cover your shape with the tracing paper and then you trace your shape and then this is the important bit, you also trace your mirror line. Now to reflect a shape you have to flip it over. So you turn the tracing paper over and that's where it's going to go. And some people have a bit of trouble writing through the tracing paper, so you just hold your pencil over it and then move it out of the way and then put it back and then move it out of the way and then you can draw your shape in. So that's a nice straightforward one, but they're not always so straightforward, they can be trickier. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at some trickier shapes. For example, we're going to look at this shape. A lot more difficult than the last one, but the process is the same. Put the tracing paper over the shape, trace the shape, try and be as exact as you can, hold the tracing paper down really tight to the page, don't forget to trace your mirror line, and then reflection is where you flip the shape over, so it's flipped over, match up the mirror lines and there it is, and this is a bit trickier, now I've really got to get these in the right place, so I need to get it there match it up again, quite fiddly, need to get it there, there's the points of the shape, another point just there, so I now know that's going to go like that, if you really wanted to do a great job you'd use a ruler here, and then there, and there, and then you can join the shape up. Again it's, it's a good idea to use pencil because if you make a mistake you can rub it out. So there's a more tricky one. But what if you have harder mirror lines? <clears throat> what do you do then? Well, let me give you some examples. Here's a harder one. We're going to reflect this shape in the line y equals 2. So, first of all, we've got to find where this line is. Now, the line y equals 2 is very easy to find as long as you listen carefully. You find the y-axis. You go down to minus 2 which is there, and the line y equals 2 goes across the page, like that. And you write at the end of it, y equals minus 2. And that normally confuses people because they think, oh look, it says x there, so surely that should be x. But it's not. In fact, this line here has got two names. It's called the x-axis but it's also called y equals 0, and not many people know that. So there's the line y equals 2. And now I can do my reflection. I trace the shape. I trace the mirror line. Make sure you get the right mirror line, and then I flip it over. And it's going to go just up there. And it's going to get down that far there. And there we go. One reflected shape. Now, if you're someone who can do it by looking at it, that's absolutely fine. Just make sure that you check your answers. And if you're not sure, then use the tracing paper. Let's do one more. Let's look at the line x equals 1. So... It's not either of these lines. We find x, and we go along to 1, which is there. And this is x, so this is a vertical line. So that's our mirror line there. Obviously, a ruler would be better for this. And I write at the end of it, x equals 1. And it won't surprise you to know that this line has got two names. It's called the y-axis, but it's also called x equals 0. So, trace the shape. Don't forget to trace the mirror line. 
and then flip it over. A reflection is where you flip it over. And there we go. This isn't such a good one, as you can see my shape isn't exactly on the grid, it's a little bit of a poorer quality question. That's where it should have gone, just like it should have actually been on there. So that's reflecting shapes in mirror lines. I hope you found it useful. <laughs>